an amazing topic that will give you blessings and and will give you more revelation so yeah are you guys excited i'm sure we are so that's why good morning philippines good morning lazon besides and mindanao we are coming to you live from quezon city i am via and this is fiera a word for all nations Welcome to our Word Fun Kingdom Kids channel! We greet you all our Wapan family with the love, the grace, and the peace poured into our life by our Father, God, and our Master, Jesus Christ. What a blessing He is! He is, yeah, He is the Lord who took us in high places of blessings and He will carry us from generation to generation. Anyway, how are you, family? So, this March, many of the students are actually working with their fourth quarter and finishing their studies. And yes, we are working very hard to finish our portfolio also. And yes, and all the students are very busy this month to finish their um, studies in to finish their school year this month. So they could, so they could experience their summer and inside their homes, and enjoy with their family more than also study and also do the things they wanted to do. And yes, Ella, I really, really, really pray that this pandemic will end soon because I really, really miss going back to the province and go swimming in the beach than just staying at home and doing also our studies like um going using the computers like almost the whole day and and that and i hope you guys you family are protected and well yeah be comfortable family and yeah always be joyful and take your chance to enjoy to enjoy and have good memories with you with the family who's with you at your house today so you can still have a chance since you know when it's not quarantine already you're just mostly outside doing your things yeah so it's really 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 good to have happy memories than sad right Amen! But before we continue, let's greet all of our Wafan families who is faithfully joining us and doing watch parties. And it's already one year of our broadcast! Of our Wafan wa broadcast. Yeah, of our Wafan live stream. And it's also like, it's the birthday of our live stream. And of course, yeah, for actually all the... We're greeting. People, yeah, we want to greet all the people who have a birthday in March. So, first, let's greet Teacher Jopai Duran. Happy birthday, Happy po. birthday Teacher Jopai. And of course, also to our beloved pastor, Pastor Paul. Happy it's birthday. already also gonna be his birthday. Happy birthday. We wish you a very happy birthday. Yeah. And God bless. God bless you to both of our birthday celebrants yeah and, and to all of the people who also have a birthday in march thank you for for all the blessings and, and may god bless you and have a long life um pastor paul and teacher duran and we'll have god will, will give you many blessings in your life Thank you for all your anointment for everyone with whose birthday in March. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Anyway, before we pray, let's have our Bible verse for today in the book of 
1 Corinthians 13 verse 7. So, yeah, written in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7, New Living Translation, Love never gives up, never lose faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. The verse means that love never fails and um, love needs also trust. I will put that also, that trust is very important. Yeah. And how about you, Vera? What do you learn about this verse? It's about like, yeah, love. Yeah, like it said, love never gives up, never loses faith, faith and is always hopeful and endures through every circumstances so yeah that's about the verse and it's like that love never gives up and never lose faith so this is actually about love ate so about love about the yeah um yeah about love and and love is like family love and like a good example for the love is the love of god of true Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it endures in every circumstance. So it's about love. Okay, let's pray. Um, dear Jesus, thank you, Lord, for dying in the cross to save us, and thank you for loving us and guiding us in every way. And thank you, Lord, for sacrificing your son Jesus Christ in the cross because you love us and want us to have a good life with you and thank you lord for the protection and the provisions that you gave to us and thank you lord for our broadcast and all of the birthday celebrants today and thank you lord that they will have a long happy living life lord in your will lord and as i pray Thank you for our broadcast and it will it will start very successful and it will end successful. In Jesus name, Amen. Amen. Okay, let's continue our program by yeah, a declaration from our Kingdom Kids. Amen, Ella. Let's keep declaring the word of God until it manifests into our lives. So let's welcome our Kingdom Kids! As a Kingdom Kid, this is my declaration because our words are powerful. I am Kingdom Kid, great to give out. God is my Father and He's my great provider. Jesus is my Lord, my Savior. I have the Holy Spirit, the greatest teacher who lives inside of me. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. I'm a victor and I'm more than a conqueror. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of His mind. Because nothing is impossible to those who believe, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am healthy and strong, spirit, soul, and body. God bless me, therefore I am blessed and I am a blessing to others. I am loved, forgiven of all my sins, and highly favored by God. I am who God tells I am. The citizen of the kingdom. Believe it and I will see it. And that set us in. Divine Kingdom Kids! Let's continue with a praise and worship song from our, our Kingdom, kingdom Kids! kids.
our speaker is a KM, KKM anointed teacher and a doodle master. Yes, she is a very gracious woman of God and a very, very strong woman of God. She is also very anointed. Yes, and she loves art and now she's using this media to share the gospel. Yeah, and she will be sharing about the love of God manifested through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome us. Teacher Mel Jimenez with her future character, Uncle Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to our Kingdom Kids channel. Today we will have an exciting lesson. But before that, I would like to introduce you to our special guest. Well, I will let them introduce themselves to you. So here they are. Hello, hello, hello there. I'm Uncle Jerry. Hello, Teacher Mel. Hi guys, I'm Tom. Hello Uncle Jerry. Hello Teacher Bell. Hello guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome to Kingdom Kids channel. Uncle Jerry and Tom will help me out with my lesson today. Our lesson is about love. So let's see what the Bible says about love. Uncle Jerry, can you please read first John chapter 4, verse 7 and 8? In 1 John 4, 7, 8 says, My friends, we should love all one another. It is God who makes us able to love other people. Everyone who loves other people has become a child of God. That person knows God. Anyone who does not love other people does not know God. We know this because God's own nature is love. Thank you, Uncle Jerry. On that scripture, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, 8, 7 to 8, God is telling us that we should love one another. Teacher Bell, it says there, all. Does that mean all the people that are unlovable and even our enemy, we should show love to them? That is right, Tom. God is saying that if we are really His children, we are we ought to love one another, or we ought to love everybody, including our enemies. In Luke chapter 6, verse 30, 35 to 36 says, But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend, lend to them without expecting to get anything back then your reward will be great and you will be children of the most high because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked be merciful just as your father is merciful teacher Mel, but what does love really mean and how do we show love to others That is a great question, Uncle Jerry. Let's find out. Tom, can you please read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7? 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7. If I love people, I will be patient. I will be kind. I will not be jealous of other people. I will not be proud and say that I am great. If I love people, I will be polite. I will not just want to please myself. I will not quickly become angry if someone does wrong thing against me. I will not keep it to my thoughts. 
If I love people, I will not be happy when bad things happen. Instead, I will be happy when things happen that are right and true. If I love people, I will accept their problems. I will always believe them. I will always hope for what is best. I will always be patient in trouble. Remember, God will enable us to do so because He is love. And remember, love is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Wow, well, God is really awesome. And He show us and instruct us on how to love other people. Awesome! The Bible is very clear in showing us on how to we should walk in love. God loves us so much and He wants to share that love to others. And He showed, he showed us and He tells us on how we should love other people the way He loves us. Today, we would like to uh, share it to you or show you a video about God's love. So, let's watch. Hello, it's Teacher Mel. There is a lot of stories in the Bible about God's love. Let's take a look at the whole story. At the beginning of time, God created a perfect home. He made us in His own image so we can live there and be close to Him. The first two people were Adam and Eve. God loves them and they love God. God gave them everything they needed. But God had an enemy and he tricked Adam and Eve thinking that they don't need God. He told them that they can take care of themselves. So Adam and Eve stopped trusting God and they chose to disobey him. When they made that choice, all the wrong things in the world began. Like all kinds of sicknesses and diseases, poverty, vices, war, bad weather, and lots of things, and even death. Even worse, Adam and Eve separates them from God. That means everybody else that was born after them, which is everyone. But guess what? God did not want to be separated from us. He loves us, so He planned a great rescue to get rid of death that keep us from Him. Now God sent a rescuer to his family and the first two people in his family named Abraham and Sarah. They have to wait many years for the son God promised them. Finally, Isaac was born. Through Isaac, God's family got bigger and bigger. But even though they are God's special family, they were not perfect. Isaac's son Jacob tricked his twin brother Esau. Joseph was thrown on the pit by his brothers. And the Israelites kings, they made some bad choices. But God knew a rescuer will change everything. And he loved his family even though they messed up over and over again. He told them that the rescuer will be a king and that king will rescue everyone from all the wrong things in the world, all the pain, sadness, and even death. Finally, 100 years later, Jesus the rescuer was born just like God promised. People were surprised when he showed up as a baby born in a manger with animals. They expected the mighty warriors. But Jesus is a king alright, and he showed us what is like in God's kingdom. Jesus did miracles like make sick people healthy, feed hungry people, and bringing dead people back to life. Because in the kingdom of God, nobody is ever sick or sad or hungry, and nobody dies. And Jesus brought that kingdom of God to us. Then Jesus did something that nobody expected. He took our punishment of death. Remember, we deserve to be separated from God by death. Jesus did not deserve to die. He was perfect. 
But the exciting part is Jesus came back to life, completely squashed death. Now death cannot separate us from God anymore. But right before Jesus left, he told us that our job is to keep getting to know him and to tell others that he rescued us. In that way, others can follow him. God's family started afraid to do this job, but God sent the Holy Spirit to help them and us. The Holy Spirit does these things like guide us, teach us, support us, even defend us. The Holy Spirit helped people like John, Lydia, Mary, Phoebe, Timothy, Paul, and lots of others. They show how to follow Jesus, and those people showed others, and those people showed others, and those people showed others. You got the idea. But that's not the end of God's love story. God's love is never ending. Is still going and that means you can tell your part of the story on how God showed his love to you. God loves you and that will never change. I hope you enjoyed that video. God wants you to be part of his family through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. So if you want to be a part of God's family, I would like to invite you to pray this prayer with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me so much that you sent your son, your only son, Jesus, to die for me. I believe he rose again from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. I make you my Lord over my life. And I declare by faith that I am now a child of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you pray that prayer with me, you are now a child of God and you are now a citizen of heaven. Congratulations. Oh, by the way, today is also your birthday, your spiritual birth. Happy birthday. I'm sure heaven is rejoicing right now if you pray that prayer with me. Congratulations and happy birthday. Well, guys, my uh, time is up. And, uh, well, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, Uncle Jerry and Tom for helping out today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tutu to Bell. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Welcome, Tutu Bell. See you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. And uh, we'll see you uh, next week here at the Kingdom Kids channel. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Bye now. Yes, um, yeah, this is a very timely message, and we must understand the love of God. Yeah, most importantly, we need to understand the love of the Father, yeah, of the God, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wonderful love. And yes, we have to understand the love of the Father manifested through Jesus Christ, and now we're enjoying that life through the Holy Spirit. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's very amazing. Anyway, let's hear today's memory verse from my host partner, Ate Via Azagra. Yay!
Our memory verse for today is 1 Corinthians 13, verse 7. If I love people, I will always accept their problems. I will always believe them. I will always hope for what is best. I will always be patient in troubles. Okay, let's do it again. If I love people, I will always accept their problems. I will always believe them. I will always hope for what is best. I will always be patient in troubles. Yes, Ella. He loves you and he wants you to have a fruitful and satisfying life with him. He is there always and forever. Keep believing that you trust him. He cares for you, family, and he always wants to be a part of your life. Even if you spend your whole life running away from God or did things you regret, this year, run back to him and let his plans manifest in your life. He loves you, family. That's his grace. And he wants you to discover the great plans he has for your life. When God promised, he is faithful to give it and to do it. And that promise is always to love us. When God promised, he is faithful to give it and to do it. He promised that he will love us. And that promise will give us success, peace, and every, everything we will do in our life. So we must keep on believing that He loves us. We're done for today. By the way, remember that we have a replay every Saturday. So you and your children and your family can watch our program. Yes, so don't forget one of these very important announcements. Watch That's this.
you are all cared family and loved by God, He promises that He will never forsake us and nor leave us. You are now standing in the solid ground of God's love. Yes, live in peace and success by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So always remember that you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved. Bye! Bye! So guys, let's pray. Yeah, so let's pray. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for saving us in the cross. So always remember that you are great and blessed. Yes. Wow. Daddy, man, but you are now standing in the solid ground covered. Okay. Ah! Okay. 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 Okay.